Hi, my name is Lindsay Stevens. Um, I am here to talk to you about my trip to Jamaica. Um, last summer, in summer 2012, I spent three months in Jamaica doing an internship with an organization called ACE, American Caribbean Experience. God taught me a lot on that trip. The one that just continues to come back in my life uh, day after day is surrender. This lesson started even before my trip even began, even before I agreed to go on the trip, um, because I really felt God prompting me to go back to Jamaica. Now, I had been to Jamaica once before. Um, I went with our church to go on a one-week missions trip, and we had gotten the chance to meet the interns that worked there that summer, and we heard firsthand what it was like to be in this internship um, program and it was super intimidating. So I remember that exact year just saying, God, I don't think I could ever do this because this is just too much for me. Um, and then two years later, 2012, um, I just felt that prompt saying, go apply for this program. I was so scared to do it that I actually bartered with God. I'm like, you know what, I'll go on any trip anywhere else. Wherever you want to send me, I'll go, but not there. I don't want to go back to Jamaica. I don't want to go on this trip. Um, but like that constant go apply for that program just kept coming back to my head, I couldn't stop. Um, so I finally agreed that I would apply for it and if this was his will that he would make it very clear. Within two days I had heard back and was offered an uh, over the phone interview and about a week after the interview I had been offered the position as an intern. Um, so that was my first lesson in surrender and trust. Like I just had to say, okay God, take over because I'm terrified to do this but you keep telling me to go so I'm going to wait and see what you're going to do. So about a week into being there, I was in pieces. I just remember reading like journal entry after journal entry that I just would cry out to God. I'm like, I don't know I'm here. I don't know how I can do this. I don't love being here, but I know I'm here for your purpose. Um, so again and again, I would just surrender and you just put that trust in me and it led to peace, which was what I was missing that whole time. There was a verse that was actually in my journal. It was Isaiah 26.3. It says, you will keep in perfect peace him whose mind is steadfast because he trusts in you. Um, and every time I just got to that really rough point, I would just go back to that verse and I'm like, God, you promised me peace if I trusted you with this, so help me. Um, and the cool thing is, is by the end of the summer, um, the director even said, you have just completely changed down here. You started out this nervous girl who um, was just kind of falling apart a lot. You were just having trouble like connecting with us. And now you were like, the most at peace here of all the group, and she's like, it's amazing to see it, um, to see that complete change in you, and I'm like, it's, it is a God thing, it's too cool. So in Jamaica, as a way to kind of remind ourselves about that, we all went to a campfire area down by the ocean, and we all took um, rocks down with us, and we wrote on the rocks things that we wanted to leave behind, um, things that challenged us, um, issues from home or from our trip down to Jamaica, anything that we were struggling with that we wanted to leave behind, so I wrote kind of three or four things on my rock um, and we threw it into the ocean and we left it there and then we wrote new rocks where we wrote our promises down um, of what we wanted to bring home and the three things I brought home with me were peace, trust, and surrender. Surrender is not a one-time deal. It's something that you have to do every single day. Every morning I get up and say, God, I can't handle the situation because I need you to handle it for me. And so that is something I go back to whenever I get to that point in my life where I'm just, I can't handle it. And I just remember God telling me, I brought you through this so that you would have this lesson with you as you go to the next five point in your life. Um, and the rest I want to leave you with is Psalm 125.1. It says, those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion, which cannot be shaken, but endures forever.